guys, welcome back to another part of the zombie apocalypse series. So we are on episode 13, hopefully not unlucky, I don't know. I say I don't know as if I don't write the stories for these, that's really embarrassing anyways. And in the last video, we had a bit of a sad one because Tio had this really emotional time with his new horse that he kind of stumbled upon, or the horse stumbled upon him actually. And he has decided that this is Bo, and this is a reincarnation of Bo. It was a very tough episode last time, and also Erin realized that she was actually the one that left the gate open open and that is how Hayden and Bo got killed because they obviously the zombies came into the camp so a bit of an emotional one last time and a very long one I'm sorry about that you guys seem to like longer episodes but I don't know also yes I do indeed have our orange hair which is why I haven't got my headphones on just yet just thought I'd let you guys know I'm gonna have this for a couple of videos and then I'm swapping to another hair color so hopefully you guys like it I like it I think it's pretty cute so yeah slay oh it makes me so I'm no longer bald what a wonderful time it really annoys me that Tio is like constantly thinking he's late for school like guys School is not on, okay? Like, my guy is, like, becoming, like, a D student soon purely because, like, he's not going to school like babes. School does not exist, okay? School <laughs> school does not exist in this world. Anyways, so he is kind of still, like, chatting to the horse. I think the horse is sad right now. I don't know why. Oh, my God, wait. Oh, energy low. Okay, maybe you should go, like, sleep a little bit. Now, Tio doesn't really know anything about horses, let's be honest. Like, he's not really a horse person. He's never really known any horses before in his life. Much like me, I don't really know anything about horses. So he doesn't really know exactly exactly what the horse is on about but I think because he feels like he has this connection to it and because it does feel like this is Bo he kind of feels like he knows what the horse wants despite probably not really know what the horse wants let's be honest also you guys said that this is actually fertilizer for plants so we have an outstanding quality thing so I think that that means that if we were to come over here we could like try and fertilize I don't think we can yet because we don't have enough gardening but if we did um <laughs> we could do that I think I'm just gonna get pretty much everyone to go fishing again honestly even though like they would rather live off the plants currently the plants aren't doing too great also tomorrow or probably the day after is gonna be the start of winter which is gonna be honestly a disaster let's be honest like i don't know how this is gonna go i don't know how it's gonna work in winter i don't know if our stuff's gonna be able to grow or anything hence why we built this like little area last episode so that we had like a little bit of a cover for it and stuff but i still don't know if that will be enough for the plants to still grow and it's a very small cover so i don't know if that'll be enough and if this pond freezes is over. I don't even, I don't even think they're gonna survive the winter, to be honest, guys. So I'm uh, kind of worried about that. Kind of worried, Lucky. I keep forgetting there's not an actual toilet in here. It's so annoying, honestly. <laughs> I'm really trying to get Miles' his handiness up so that he can, like, actually, like, craft stuff like a toilet and maybe an extra bath in case, you know, two people need a bath at the same time. But honestly, for right now, like, his skill, I think it's getting there. It's a five. It's, like, it's okay. But he's not doing that great, so I'm, like, struggling with that. Also, horse, if you're tired, babes, like, let me just have a suggestion right now. Go to sleep in your bed that you are stood in right now you idiot like what are you doing what are you I feel like this horse is going to be the bane of my existence. Not going to lie. Um, <laughs> because Tio, like, doesn't really know what's wrong right now with the horse. I mean, with Bo. Sorry, with Bo. The horse. The obviously, guys. <laughs> obviously, this is Bo and not a random horse called Blue or anything. That would be ridiculous. He's just going to, like, be like, oh, what's wrong, Bo? Like, are you okay? You look all sad, buddy. What's going on? Uh, do you want a hug? Here's a hug. There we go, Bo. It's okay. It's okay. And the horse is like, bro, I just need a bed right now. <laughs> I literally literally just need to go to bed um oh my god adeline sucks at fishing every she literally can't do anything like i i say that with love i do but she can't do a thing like she really can't she struggles with everything like she can't even be near the campfire anymore without being scared of fire like this is just shocking to be fair she did kind of set a light last episode so i guess i will give her that but <laughs> still okay i mean really oh man not someone else becoming a oh my god okay i'm getting a bit concerned because there seems like there's quite a few zombies around this vicinity so i'm just gonna <laughs> I'm just gonna ignore that. Uh, <laughs> we just it's fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. It's fine. So Adlin, because she can't do like the fishing and stuff, her and Erin are gonna come in here and they're gonna start cleaning up a little bit. Honestly, these cobwebs have been disturbing me for a while now. So we're gonna start like getting rid of the stuff. We're gonna just kind of clean the whole area up a little bit. And oh my god. Oh, the spider just on there. Okay, yeah. Please get rid of that. Kind of just like move stuff out and whatever like stuff we don't need 
bleed in the house and just sort of clean it up a little bit so we all have maybe a little bit more space in here. Honestly, oh my god, it's so disgusting. The spiders on there just make me so grossed out. Like, I actually hate it. Someone with a massive phobia of spiders. Ugh, you know? <laughs> I am terrified. I am not having this. I would never have slept in here. But there's a lot of cobwebs and stuff we can clean up. Especially this, being right next to the bed. Whew, that would kill me. Honestly, that would kill me. <laughs> the fact that they even slept in here. I bet Adeline was not happy about that. <laughs> not at all. Maybe we'll, like, mop up the floors a little bit. Get rid of any of the dirt stains. And honestly, just overall clean the place up a little bit. I really don't think that Adeline is particularly enjoying this because <laughs> she doesn't really like cleaning that much. But she either has to fish and, like, catch gross fish and, like, gut them and stuff. Or she has to just clean up the house. And I know which one I would have chose. So, also, we have these gnomes from Harvest Fest. Maybe Adeline will be like, what if we use the gnomes to, like, you know how we've got, like, scarecrows, right? What if we, like, use the gnomes to, like, scare off any zombies? Let's, like, put them out here to, like, ward any off and, like, to be terrifying. Like, ugh, look at that. No zombie's gonna want to come in here. As if the zombie would use the actual gate and not just climb over the fence. But, um, Adeline, uh... She, 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 she tries. She, <laughs> she tries the very hardest, okay, guys? It looks a little bit nicer in here now without all of the cobwebs and stuff. I mean, they're still on the outside, but, like, that would be hella spidery. I'm not touching that. I know Adeline is not about to touch that. While she's cleaning up, Erin is being very quiet. She hasn't really said anything to Adeline. Like, unless necessary, she's not saying anything to... Okay, rude. Shut me out then, why don't you? She's not really... I've lost her. Erin? <laughs> Erin? Oh, there you are. She's not really saying anything to anyone. Not Adeline, not anyone. And the thing with Erin is like, because she's not that much of a talkative person, Adeline's not really noticing. And also Adeline is getting to the point where she's like, like far into her pregnancy. And she has a lot of things on her mind. So I don't think she's going to be particularly like thinking about Erin, which really sucks. Because if it was the other way around, Erin would 100% have noticed by now that Adeline wasn't doing good. But Adeline is a little bit more self-centered. Oh my God, she just looks be then. Broke the fourth wall then. She's a little bit more self-centered than Erin, so she's not really gonna notice, which it kind of sucks, but at the same time, I don't think Erin wants to talk right now anyway, so she's kind of happy that she's not really noticing. I really want to get Miles's handiness skill up as quick as possible, because I do want to start making some furniture. I think that he's gonna start thinking about potentially making some beds, like maybe we can make like some bunk beds in here to have in the corner or something, just so that there's like actual bedding, because like right now, sleeping bags plus someone sleeping on the floor has not been ideal, so I really hope that we can potentially do that soon. And now Kristen wants to do, do mixology. Babes, there's no way you can possibly do that, you numpty. Also, she's feeling fly right now. Still got it. Oh yeah, Kristen definitely has it. Still has it going on. It wants to flow with it. Okay, Kristen, you have a fiance. Uh... <laughs> Oh no, uh oh, okay. We're getting to the point now where it says we can't fish because it's such an extreme cold. Oh, this is bad. Okay, hopefully did we get a couple of fish? Okay, we got a few fish, so I think we'll have to start like cooking these. I don't want them to go spoiled or anything and also everyone's starving right now. I actually don't think we've ate today, or at least I can't remember the meeting, so everyone's feeling not great. If I get one more phone call from someone that's meant to be dead, I swear to God. Wait, we actually got quite a few fish, you know. Wait, Loki, I think we got a fish for everyone. So you get one, you get one, and you get one. <gasps> we even have a spare fish. Oh my God, this never happens. Okay, wonderful. Everybody, let's get cooking. Let's get everyone around. Everyone's pretty hungry. Actually, to be fair, I say everyone's pretty hungry. Miles is having a great time. <laughs> He's fine. He's dandy. That's okay. Tio is getting like really hungry and like not doing very well. So like Miles has kind of been like noticing that he He's not eating or anything yet. He's like, do you want to go over there? Like, I think that they managed to get some fish. Like, they said to me that they got some. So, do you, uh, maybe go get some fish, Tio. You've got to be hungry by now. You know, you've been here for ages. But as much as Tio is, like, really hungry right now and, like, his needs are not being taken care of or anything, he kind of just doesn't want to leave Bo. Blue, Bo, the horse. Bo, the horse, obviously, not Bo, the real life man. He doesn't really want to leave him at all. He's just thinking, like, I just can't leave him again. You know, I can't do that. So, he's going to just, like, stay with Bo. I say stay with Bo as if Bo's here. Where has he gone? I will never know. Anyways, <laughs> he doesn't really want to leave Bo, but at the same time, he is getting very hungry. So he's like, okay, I need to get Bo some food so then I can eat as well. So Tio's just going to say to Miles, he's going to be like, okay, I'm going to go now and get some food, okay? Oh my God. Bo just trying to grab some food from over here, like trying to eat from the thing. Good God, man. Have a little bit of uh, decency, you know? Oh, is that urine? Is that your? Oh, for God's sake. Tio's just going to whisper in Bo's ear and he's just going to be like, I'm going to get us some food, okay, buddy? I'm going to get it. I'm 
gonna get some food for us bow and of course you know bow the horse is like i can't understand you because i'm just a horse you numpty so he is gonna say to miles like i'm just gonna go get some food but in reality tio is actually gonna sneak on over very tiredly and very hungrily and he's gonna sneak his way over to these apples that have yet to be planted and he's just gonna grab it and put it in his pocket which is really bad like genuinely this is a really bad idea because this food isn't for a horse you know this this food is for humans that have to survive but of course because Tio thinks that Bo is indeed a human like he's gonna want to make sure that he's okay so he's just gonna give the apple to the horse so that he can you know be fed and be okay and this now means that at the very least Tio is happy because now that Bo the horse has ate it's so weird saying Bo the horse but you know what I mean Bo the horse has ate he now feels like he can go and eat so he's gonna be like I'll be right back okay I'm gonna I'm gonna go grab some food and I'll be right with you but Erin's still sat here eating I think pretty much everyone else has already ate also she's stinky as hell um <laughs> are we surprised no maybe you should go have a bath babes oh god and Adeline feels like she's about to vomit this is so bad <laughs> this is actually shockingly bad honestly I can't have all of the sims have a good time can I like I really try my best I swear guys it might not look like it okay maybe she could take some deep breaths be like okay the spiders are gone I've cleaned them up it's okay it's not okay <laughs> what if they're still here what if they're crawling on my body oh my god so Erin is in the bedroom just cleaning up still she's getting rid of more cobwebs and trying to just like get rid of dirt on the floor and just dusting everywhere pretty much probably just with a hand because let's be honest what kind of cleaning supplies would they have I don't know but she's kind of just in here and like I say she hasn't spoke to anyone today so Erin's just gonna hear a knock on the door and Erin's just gonna be like yeah you can uh you can come in so Adeline's just gonna walk in and she's just gonna be like hi Erin are you okay how's it going in here just wanted to check up on you see how you're doing in here and Erin's just kind of gonna give Adeline a bit of a weak smile she's just like I'm fine thanks like yeah and Adeline's just like something's wrong right now so she just closes the door behind her and Adeline's gonna be like right what is wrong Erin what is wrong you know you've been off since yesterday and I just don't understand like did if we're someone has something happened like you know something bad happened I mean I didn't want to ask before because I thought like I don't know I don't know if you just needed space like maybe I'd done something or I don't know but I I was wrong okay I don't I hate seeing you all sad like you're never sad like this I don't get it please just let me know what's wrong okay I, I'm sure I can I can help but maybe like this is really starting to freak me out right now Aaron. please just tell me what's happening and Erin's like oh god I knew this was coming uh I shouldn't have acted so weird why couldn't I just act normal okay um I I'm uh I'm fine see I'm fine yeah I uh I'm just getting uh getting worried about uh you now you're in your second trimester you know I'm just trying to think about the baby and what's gonna happen when she arrives and i don't know i'm just getting a bit worried about you with that so that that's that's the reason so yeah that's that's it that's all that's all and adeline's like she you you think it's it's gonna be a girl erin's just like oh yeah it's a it, it's just a feeling i had this dream the other night and i i dreamt and we were um we were just holding the baby and and, and it was a little girl and, and she was adorable she was she was really cute and i just i don't know got feeling i guess and adeline's like god i hope you're right oh my god i could not handle another man in my life right now they're so blooming dramatic you know like let me just <laughs> please stop and they're both just gonna laugh and they're like oh my god i know right I, I, <laughs> please say it's a girl they just both have this like gut feeling in them that it's gonna be a girl so i don't know maybe it will be maybe it won't be let me know what you guys think in the comments alan's like you know it's really crazy because literally like the only time that she kicks is when you're around it's like she's desperate to meet you she's like kicking on my stomach like babes let me out of here right now like <laughs> Please, I need to see Erin, the best auntie ever or whatever. I don't know what you are to the baby, but you're something. And yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that would be, yeah, awesome. So yeah. <laughs> and Erin's face just lights up and she's like, really? Like, that's what? That's so crazy. I can't believe you ever told me that. And Adeline's just like, yeah, I know. I, I know. The first time it happened, I was like, this child like knows who my best friend is. This is so crazy. What? Did I click that? No. Wait, they're all coming out here to react to first snow. Oh no. Oh God. Okay, I thought they're living in like this, you know, really like, I don't know, what do you call this? It's like a deserty place. It's not a desert. Is it a desert? I mean, it's sand. There's sand. There's sand, guys. This is a desert. I thought that that would mean that we would be fine from the snow. Also, the fish just being on the floor is making me like, oh my God, look at the fish. 
face. Sorry. <laughs> but no, it seems like we have not been able to avoid the snow. Oh god, this is gonna be bad because we literally can we fish it. We can't fish it anything. Oh god. Okay. I don't know how the plants are gonna be doing either. Are they even gonna be able to be planted? We can't even plant the stuff. Okay, that's really concerning. But Erin's like, can I can I like say hi to her? Like, would that be okay? And Alan's like, of course that would be okay. Here you go. So she's just gonna be like, hi, baby. Honestly, I know nothing about babies. Let's be honest here. I don't know what people say to a baby. Do you have a normal conversation? Like, what's going on? I don't know. We'll also actually become best friends because they are besties, let's be honest. But yeah, I don't know what you'd say. Can it understand me? Absolutely not. It's never learned the English language. So, I mean, I'd probably just start speaking Simlish, which is quite ironic because I would indeed be speaking Simlish. I'd just be like, a beep -a bear. That's not Simlish. But I would just say that because what else is it going to understand? It's going to understand nothing. But I guess there's a point to it. But I don't know what that point is. Anyways, I also have this thing where I can... There we go. We can say hi to baby using the realistic birth one. Also, what... Oh my god, the shade! The absolute shade in a zombie apocalypse, okay? I don't think that scaring someone with a horn would be the best idea, but they are gonna become besties. Honestly, that was a kiss on the cheek right then, that was. Good lord. She's just gonna say hi to the baby, and she's just gonna talk to the baby and say stuff. Oh, the little wave. Oh! so cute oh my god hello this carries on for way longer than i thought it would oh this is adorable oh that's so cute oh my god that's so cute oh these two are like absolute bestie goals honestly that was a very cute shared moment and i'm sure they both appreciated that and it's definitely took erin's mind off of the whole you know i sort of killed the baby's father in a weird way yay you guys were saying in the comments you'd be like can erin just catch a break i was like guys i'm sorry but none of these sims can okay let's be honest have any of them had like a few good days in a row no okay because life sucks and the zombie apocalypse sucks so they are gonna have terrible days let's be honest and of course it's somehow 12 30 a.m for goodness sakes how does this happen every time oh my god okay everyone get to bed my bad honestly my bad like seriously genuinely not my fault also adeline is literally about to pass out honestly it's all going well like this is actually quite good for my sims so yeah also oh, you're starting to create a fog oh my god <sighs> I hate you all. Honestly, I hate you all. Why are you thinking about babies? No, no. <laughs> no more, thank you. No, 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 no. Seriously, no, seriously, seriously. Genuinely, seriously, genuinely. <sighs> Don't do that. And now that they've become best friends, they can actually sleep in the bed together. So far, they haven't been able to, and it's been peeing me off. Like, one of them just be sleeping. <gasps> oh my god, sorry. That scared me. Both scared the producer at me then. I honestly thought that was like some sort of demon crawling towards me. It wasn't. It was just a horse. That was crisis averted. Anyways, I've been very, like, scared. Scared. That's not exactly what I was trying to say i was trying to say these two have been up to sleep in the same bed even though they've been besties for so long because the sims 4 is stupid but now they officially can which is so cute i feel like they're probably like cuddling in bed so lame honestly <laughs> i was gonna say where's Tio, but like of course he's not gonna sleep in there like honestly it's worked out pretty well for miles because he gets a whole bed now like since <laughs> since Tio has gone through this whole thing miles gets to sleep in a nice comfy bed which honestly swings and roundabouts you know someone's in a really bad place but at the same time he's now got a good place to sleep in also adeline what are you doing getting in line who do you think's gonna be here like there's gonna be a zombie here like a waiting to go in that would be quite funny if you guys have seen dead snow you'd know that that does kind of happen where like a zombie comes through the floor or something very amusing anyways why is drinking from a can with lipstick on the most hardest thing i've ever had to do like this is the most this is this challenges me day to day honestly <laughs> It's gone down my chin. That's embarrassing. <laughs> oh. oh, it breaks my heart seeing Tio there. It honestly breaks my heart. He's definitely cuddling the bunny right now and also cuddling onto Bo. <sighs> Guys, just breaks my heart. You guys are really big fans of Tio, and I'm really sorry I did this to you. I also think that because Tio doesn't do the gardening, he'd probably have, like, just mentioned that we have, like, this horse poop. So maybe, like, Erin or someone in the morning can grab it. This is so dangerous, honestly. Like, him being out here, it's really bad. Like, genuinely really bad because, like, this is just really dangerous to be out here. First of all, it's winter. You know, it's getting to winter. It's winter tomorrow. So it's gonna be really cold out here. And second of all, this is a tiny little fence, okay? Like, we we're safe in here, and we've been safe in here so far because of how like quiet you know this place is there's barely anyone around here but if there was to be anyone that was coming around that was a zombie i don't know if this would be enough so it's getting very dangerous for tio to stay out here at night especially given that like when it's dark you know it's hard to see around him we've got some lights but it's not enough you know so i really wish he would stop doing that but he ain't gonna leave Bo, and i don't think that any of them are gonna want his you know stinky little horse feet and poop in the house so <laughs> 
yeah. Also, wearing off the shoulder tops is probably not the best move for YouTube. I am wearing like a corset, but it's off the shoulder. <laughs> I just kind of noticed it might look a little bit weird. I swear there's one right there, guys. I swear. Like, look, see, it's just off the shoulder. Okay, well. Yeah. Talk like a pirate day. Oh my god, that's going to be so funny. Oh my god. I hate this day because it means that I don't know what I'm clicking. Like, I click on anything and it's like, you, hi, it's very pirate. I'm a pirate. What do they say? I forget what pirates say. Let's be honest. I don't know, but <laughs> apparently they say, arr. So, yeah, like every time I click, like, get 40 winks. What the bloody hell do you think I, what, how on earth would I know what that means? I don't, I just, I simply don't know. But maybe they just, like, think, maybe, like, one of them has just been like, let's up our, you know, enjoyment of the day, and let's just start talking really stupid for the day, because, you know what, they are starting to get to the point where it is getting kind of ridiculous, and they are starting to sort of have nothing for happen any time because i don't know the most fun they've probably had is like i don't actually know you know i'm genuinely, <laughs> genuinely trying to think right now of the last fun thing that happened couldn't tell you could not tell you of the life me tio is out here like chatting with Bo, like trying to make Bo feel better feeding him and everything and he's just like talking to Bo, and he's just saying honestly you've missed so much bud you've missed so much like first of all you know we we had to get here which is like this whole new place the fact that you managed to find us again Again, it's crazy. You're like so smart, honestly. And then we found this place. And then like, oh, I don't even know. We just like cleaning up. And then we had all these beds on the floor. And then we're just trying to get a, get used to the world, you know. See what it's like over here. I mean, I really like it personally. It's very nice. And of course, I have you with me now. Which is great. Because, you know, all of the others, they're getting really like on my nerves a little bit, you know. Because they didn't seem to know that you were you right away. And then, I don't know. It was just kind of weird. They were acting a little bit funk around you. And none of them seemed to really like be talking to you. Which I just find really weird. Because you're both. Like, why would they not want to speak to you again? I don't know. So I, 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 I'm glad that you're here. And I'm glad that I have you to, you know, take care of. And you can take care of me. And I'm so happy you're back. Bro has been bottle feeding for his entire life. Like, what is going on? Like, how much food does one little wee horse need? I don't know. Whilst it's like a hotter day today, because it's the final day of fall, it's best for us to just go fish as much as possible. Good luck. Oh, I thought it's a fish. That's embarrassing. But yeah, I think it's best for us to kind of like try our best. Ooh! carrots. Sorry, but I think, it's I think it's best to try our best. Best to try our best. That doesn't make sense. It's the best thing to do is to get as much as possible now, is what I was trying to say before I could not English. Erin's fishing with obviously her arm through her stomach. Obviously, that is how you fish. Personally, I wouldn't know. Right through the boob as well. Like, honestly, right through there. In and out the other side. That is impressive. Never thought that was humanly possible. Good lord. Wow. <laughs> I am impressed right now, Erin. Anyways, Nico's like shouting across to Erin and then just chatting and probably just talking about once again not anything about like the past or anything like that probably just babes you're really distracting me with that honestly uh they're probably just like laughing like erin's just like trying to catch that and then like not being caught and nico's just like looking over like laughing at her like how are you so bad at this you literally just stand here ready and then once you once you feel it you just go through can you tell i don't know anything about fishing is it obvious is it obvious to you guys that i know nothing like look at nico just casually catching this massive fish they're just like, haha. -ha. <laughs> Probably doing a bit of a race right now. Like, who could catch as many as possible in the next, like, 10 minutes or something? I don't know how many fish have managed to be in this little tiny pond, but apparently there's quite a few because they've managed to be living off this for a while. I think it's safe to say that Nico is definitely going to win this one. Um, Erin's strong suit is certainly not fishing. I would say it's probably more like gardening or just, just nothing, really. I say that with love. I say that with love. Oh, okay. To be fair, I say that and then Nico catches, like, literally nothing as well. You guys are really bad at this. Maybe no one's better than the other. Maybe you're just equally terrible. That's probably true. But they're having a good laugh nonetheless. Oh my god, there's another... <coughs> I don't know why the fox shocked me so much. You do not dislike, I mean, you do dislike gardening, let's be honest. No, she can't. I can't. I, I love you, Erin, but just push past it, okay? Just push past it. It's, it's peeing me off. It's peeing me off, let's be honest. What did we get? Did we get anything good? 12 carrots, 4 apple. Okay, that's it, but still. That's pretty good. And you got two fishes as well. Fish eye. Fit. It's just fish, isn't it? Let's be honest. It's not fishes. Wait, you got four fish? Erin carrying right now, actually. Actually, genuinely. Look at this. Look at this selection we've got right now. This is wonderful. Eat what you want, guys. Eat what you want. We are set for days. Honestly, I'm really shocked by that. Adeline, what is it again? Worst day ever. Way worse than the last worst day. Shut up, Adeline. I love you so much, but you... <sighs> I'm okay. I'm okay. She's totally not annoying at all. That's a lie. That's a lie. She's very annoying. 
thing. <laughs> With love, of course, I say that. Bo's popping over to say hi to everyone. Oh god, your hygiene's low. How do you fix that? I don't even know. Okay, well, that's not my problem. That is Tio's. They're all like, this horse is really stinky right now, but uh, not my issue. Not my issue. And Erin did kind of notice that, like, when she was doing the gardening and stuff, she did notice that there was an apple missing. She didn't really think much of it, but she probably has, like, put two and two together and been like, that was Tio, wasn't it? Like, he stole one for Bo, the horse. So she's not going to say anything to anyone because, like, she doesn't want him to be in trouble. Like, all he's trying to do is take care of Bo. But, you know, that sucks. Oh my god, another zombie? For God's sakes. There's so many now. It's making me on edge, honestly, because they're starting to get closer and closer. But then again, Adeline's probably like, I'm not scared. I got my defenders there. This is Bob and Jim and Sam. Clearly, she is very creative. <laughs> What's your guys' favorite? Let me know in the comments. My personal favorite is Jim the Alien. Honestly, a legend. So these guys are just like in here and they're just like cleaning up, cleaning up the plates from the food. When all of a sudden they hear a bang from the roof and they both just look at each other and they're just like, what, what, what was what, what, what was that? Erin's like, what the hell was that? What was, how was there a noise from the roof? Like, I don't, what was that? Alan's just like, maybe it was like a mouse or something? Like up there, or like a bird landed on the roof or like, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't think that's it. That's weird, from the roof. And Erin's just like, there's no way. Babes, move your arm out the way, excuse me what? And Erin's just like, there's no way that that was a mouse. Like that would have to be one massive mouse, okay? I don't think a mouse could be that big. Like that was really loud. I don't know. Maybe, okay, I'm gonna go see what the rest of them think because that was kind of weird. Like what if there's something up there? So she's gonna go ahead and come out here and she's gonna, where are they? Here we go. So Kristen and Miles are making their way over. Oh God, is it starting to thunder? Oh my God, it's thundering. Okay, just swell, just swell. Just, just what we needed, just what we needed. I'm just kidding, we didn't need that at all. Nico's gonna stay out here fishing and Tio's still sleeping. This is really dangerous because he's not under anything, but he is fast asleep. So maybe Nico could just like, whilst he's asleep, just kind of, just kind of shove him underneath there. So he's safe. So Erin's just like, I heard, like we just heard like this really loud bang from the roof. Like what if there's something up there? We don't know. Like we just heard something. Could we like look for it or something? I don't know, like maybe, I don't know, maybe there's something up there, like maybe an animal or something. We could even like eat it if it's like a bird. I mean, I don't really want to, but we could maybe. Miles is like, okay, I mean, it has literally just started thundering, so it could have been that, but it was before the thunder, so maybe, maybe not. Maybe we'll, okay, uh, you and Adeline have a look around the house a little bit more just to be safe in here, and me and Kristen, sorry, Kristen, I hate to put you in danger again, babes. We'll go outside and we'll check around the exterior and like look and see what's around there. Maybe there's like something on the roof or something. So Kristen's like, for God's sakes, Mars, why do you always put us in the ones that have to go out bloody side in a bloody thunderstorm, you numpty? But alas, they are gonna come around here. So Adeline and Erin, they're gonna search in all the rooms. They're kind of just looking around. And whilst they're doing that inside, Kristen and Miles have come out here and they're starting to look around the exterior. They're like looking up there, seeing if they could see on the roof. They're like jumping like, <laughs> is there anything up there? But they can't see anything from down here. Oh my God, my roofing skills impeccable. Uh, <laughs> but they're just sort of looking and seeing if there's anything around here. But they can't really see anything from down here that looks like out of the ordinary or anything. Or maybe could have been like a bird or anything. They don't see a nest or anything like that. Smiles is going to come over here and he's going to just be like, okay, uh, Kristen, maybe just like help me onto the roof. I'll look on the top there, see if there's anything there. I don't think there's going to be, to be honest. I think that it was probably just lightning or something. And Kristen's like, yeah, Miles, it was just lightning, okay? Do you really have to do this, really? And Miles is like, do you really think that they're ever going to shut up about it if I don't go look right now? Like, genuinely. And Kristen's like, okay, you, you make a good point. So Kristen's going to kind of like give like a bit of a, what did she do? Like a push up thing. You know, when you, you, know, you like put your hands like under someone's feet and then you like push them up onto it. You know what I mean, right? You know what I mean. Onto this roof up here. And he's sort of just going to like look around here and see if there's anything. He's looking around, see if there's like a nest or if there's maybe like something that's banged down or anything. But from what he can see, like there's nothing over on that one and he can't climb up on there because like that's just completely made of slats that would be really dangerous so he's just gonna hop back down very slowly apparently he floats down like a little angel obviously the angel that he is so they're gonna go back inside here because it is really 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 starting to like lightning and thunder out here which like very dangerous so let's head back in oh my god i just saw a strike go right there okay this is great <laughs> 
So both Adeline and Erin are gonna come back out here. Miles is just gonna be like, I didn't find anything out there. Did you guys find anything? Like, was it, you know, was there anything that you saw that could have been it? Babes, do you mind? <laughs> this is not how you stand in a social situation. Okay, Kristen, I know you're not great at them, but good lord, that's not how you stand. <laughs> well, anyways, you know, looking into Erin's eyes, clearly, just kidding. Oh my god, how close do you want to get, babe? Kristen's just like, maybe there's like an attic, like the roofing outside, it kind of looks like it could have like a room in there, like a very small room. Maybe there's like a mouse up there or like, I don't know, like a possum or something. I don't know. Like, I'm not that versed in, you know, this exact area, but I know from prior experience that there is possums and raccoons in the vicinity. I'm just kidding. She's not going to say that, but um, she, she knows a little bit of information. So she's just going to be thinking like in a lot of deserts, there is stuff like snakes. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Kristen knows stuff, but let's be honest, I don't. So um, I won't be speaking for her, but she knows. Okay. She just, she just knows. She just knows. And Miles is like, I mean, maybe like the roof is kind of big for a one story house, but how would you get up there? Like how would someone or something would have even gotten up there if, you know, we can't even find it? Like how would like a random animal be able to find the entrance to it if that's the case? And Chris just be like, oh, okay. I've given you a bit of information, bro. Okay. That's all I got. That's, that's all I got. Do you mind? Honestly, these guys have no sense of like, what's the word? I've forgotten the word. Boundaries. Physical closeness. Nurse. What do you call it? I've forgotten the word, but when you really stand close to someone. Personal space? Is that the word? Anyways, the point is they have no they have no idea how, how that works, okay? Because she's currently got her belly like right shoved into Kristen's poor little face. So Kristen's just gonna say to Erin Natalie, she's gonna be like, and are you sure? Like absolutely a hundred percent positive that it couldn't have just been like the lightning or the thunder or like maybe it just came from another room. Maybe it was one of us outside. But Erin's just like, no, like it sounded like it came from right above us. I mean, I'm like 80% sure that it came from right above us. And Chris is like 80%? That's what we're going off of? I just had to go outside in the bloody rain for 80% sure? And Erin's like, okay, maybe I was like 90% sure. Okay, but Adeline heard it too. And what if it's, have you just peed or something? I oh, forgot. Oh, and right on Kristen's lap as well. For goodness gracious. But Erin's gonna be like, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Like, and if it is something, like, maybe there's stuff up there. You know, maybe if there is an attic, we could get some stuff. So Kristen's just gonna, like, look around the room for a second. She's kind of just, like, thinking in her head. She's just like, okay, if they are telling the truth and there is an attic, there's gotta be a way to get to the attic, right? Like, they wouldn't have, like, no way of getting up there. Because what's the point, you know? So she's kind of, like, looking around the room, see if there's any, like, I don't know, like, trap doors or something. <laughs> it's not Minecraft, but, you know. And she's just looking around and she's just like looking over at the fireplace and Erin did say that the noise sounded like it came from like this kind of vicinity and she's just thinking like huh what if what if it's up the chimney you know like I mean it sounds stupid but I mean it's it's hidden you know it's a pretty hidden space and Alan's like oh my god that would be such an awesome hiding spot can you imagine like oh the zombie apocalypse has started let me just run into my chimney and climb up into my hidden attic like that is so perfect maybe you're right Kristen maybe that is the place and Erin's like I'm not sure if this like random ranch that's in the middle of nowhere would need like a hidden spot like that like why would they have made that like that just seems stupid like why would they go all santa claus you know like why would they make something so hidden for like no reason and kristen's like i don't know maybe they're like serial killers or something like maybe we'll go up there and we'll find like this box of like fingers and ears and everything just chopped up into little pieces up there that would be pretty awesome and Aaron's like looking at me <laughs> breaking the fourth wall like i really hope that's not the case kristen that's not good <laughs> Miles is just like listening to them like bicker and just it's kind of like ridiculous so he's just gonna get up and he's just gonna like look and he's kind of like bending over and he's like looking up the fireplace and he notices that there is some steps back here in the fireplace that look like they lead somewhere up the actual chimney so he's just gonna say to me he's gonna be like guys have a look up here I think I, I think I found something I think I found it so they're all gonna like bend down and they're gonna look up and they're gonna be like that is steps like that is like some way of getting up like a ladder or something and Kristen's like you guys would have been looking for so long if it wasn't for me. Oh my god. I truly am the smartest, aren't I? <laughs> and Erin like looks over at Kristen and like she's just like with Kristen's really smug face looking back at her. If you just put confetti in here, what on earth, good sir? What on earth? Where did you find that from? <laughs> Alan's like, come on then. Oh my God, let's have a look. This is so exciting. What if there's like, hopefully not fingers up there. But Miles is just gonna respond. He's just gonna say like, I maybe it's best if we grab some stuff. Maybe if we get prepared this time, like we don't seem to do that very often. Or Tio just running it. Uh, we don't seem to, do you mind? Honestly, maybe unlike usual, we should like grab a lantern or like a knife or something. 
something like in case we need it just to uh just to be safe so i'm gonna grab that now and you guys grab like a lantern each as well maybe grab a little weapon i don't know i feel like there's maybe some spatulas we could grab maybe a frying pan or something and adler's like well i mean if it works for rapunzel it works for me so all of them have like grabbed a knife and stuff but miles is holding his he's got a lantern in his other hand he's just gonna say to them he's just gonna say i'm gonna go up there first okay you guys all stay behind i'll take the lead and then i'll let you guys know if it's safe and Kristen is really like not happy about this again because like it always seems like miles has to be the one that gets put in danger and like why can't it be someone else why can't it be someone else that she doesn't care about as much like not her own brother but of course miles is trying to be the brave one right now and i mean who do we have what are the options really so we have miles who's actually brave we have erin who has gone through enough traumatic stuff herself Kristen, who can't even kill a bloody zombie again tio who is tio let's be honest and lynn who's pregnant that would be a bad idea or nico who i mean probably a good second option but at the same time like miles is gonna take the lead okay and also nico is not even like in this conversation right now so miles is gonna come on over and he's gonna crawl into the chimney and he is in here now he's got his knife at hand his lantern his other hand looking kind of concerned so here are the steps we have so as miles starts climbing up the ladder he has his lantern in one hand and his knife in the other for protection he starts climbing up and as he gets to the top he feels a ledge to climb onto so he climbs off onto this ledge and he just whispers down through the fireplace and he's just like there's a ledge up here wait until i say it's okay okay stay down there i need to see what's up here i can't see anything right now so as he climbs up here he holds his lantern out in his hand and sort of just does this in front of him like holds it out in front of his face to see what he's dealing with up here to see if it's an attic to see what it is and as he holds out the lantern in front of him the light shines over to the other side of the attic and he sees a old woman sat in the corner of the room absolutely covered in blood and scars and just everything and dirt and she's got her hands up like this and she's just cowering in the corner hands up guarding her face and she looks absolutely terrified and as Mars is looking at her he sees that there's a knife right next to her so Miles jumps back in fear and he just shouts out, who are you? Like, what are you doing here? The woman tries to speak and she's really trying, but she is not able to make any words come out of her mouth right now. Nothing is happening. She just can't speak. She's so scared. She's not saying a word. So Miles just yells out, have you been bitten? Have you been turned into a zombie? Are you, are you, have you been bitten? And the woman's like, no, no, uh, this, this, this is, this is my house. This, I, 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 I this is, I, 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 I was here. I was downstairs. I was downstairs and I heard, I heard the noise. I saw the car and, and then it pulled up and I, I got scared. I, I ran, I, I ran up here and Miles looks really confused. He has no idea whether he should trust this woman because she could have been bitten or she could be evil. Like we don't even know if she's a nice woman, you know, like we know nothing about her. So he's just going to be like, okay, I need to be safe. I need to make sure that she can't attack me or anything like that. So he's just going to yell over to her, push that knife away from you and stand up in the middle of the room. I need to see you. So the woman very slowly stands up and walks into the middle of the room. You can see even clearer now all of the dirt and the grime and the, all the blood covered over her and she just looks like she is in agony because of how much blood there is over her. I mean he doesn't know if it's her blood or if it's someone else's but it looks like a lot like a lot of blood. So she does as she's told and she stands in the middle. Miles just shouts out like spin around. I See I, I, I need to see if you um, have any bite marks okay. Turn around. So as a woman turns around Miles can see that she has like a lot of cuts on her. Like it seems like knife marks like actual bits of flesh missing from her body and he notices that the knife has blood on it so he doesn't know why she's got all of these cut marks over her and as the woman's spinning she's just gonna be like please please don't please don't hurt me don't kill me please i i i i i have a family i have i have kids and i i please don't please don't hurt me i i'm not gonna hurt you i promise i promise miles looks at her very much to see if she has any bite marks on her but she seems like she has none from what he can see see anyways and also he thinks that if she's been up here for a few days by herself then how would she have gotten bitten you know like it, it would make sense so she must be clear so he's just gonna be like i can't like hurt this woman like if she seems okay then i'm just gonna have to take that as it is you know i can't do it what else i'm meant to do how to test her so he's just gonna be like okay i i'm not gonna hurt you 
I promise. Please just, I'm gonna help you down this ladder, okay? I'm gonna help you back down these steps and we'll talk, okay? So the woman starts stumbling over to him. She's barely walking. It looks like she has so many injuries and she's really struggling to walk. It looks like she hasn't walked in a few days and she's just a mess. Miles just shouts down to the others, help her down, help her down, stay underneath, make sure you can help her. But as she starts walking over, she looks over to the right side of the room and kind of looks concerned. So Miles is like, okay, well, like, let me just look over there as well. So he looks over and he sees a blanket with like, kind of like a hump under it. And he notices that it slightly moves. So he starts to make his way over and the woman's just gonna yell, please don't touch that, please don't. But before she can finish her sentence, Miles grabs the blanket and he yanks it away. And underneath the blanket is a zombie. The zombie is tied up against the wall, but Miles still gets scared and he jumps back, holding his knife in front of his face for protection. But the woman comes over to him and grabs him on his shoulders and she says, please don't, don't hurt him. That's my husband, please. He can't attack anyone. He's totally harmless. Please just leave him alone. You promised me you wouldn't hurt me and this would hurt me, okay? Please just leave him. Miles is terrified right now because there is a zombie sat literally like a foot away from him where he sees how upset this woman is and he sees that this zombie is completely tied up. There is rope all around him. He is completely tied onto a beam so he technically shouldn't be able to hurt anyone. And Miles is just gonna be like, oh god, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Why did I take a leadership role? This was such a stupid idea. I don't know what to do. He's so indecisive. He's just gonna be like, fine. I won't hurt him, okay? Just go down the ladder, please. And the woman's just like, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, you don't know how much this means to me. Thank you. Thank you. He won't hurt anyone. I promise he's harmless. I swear. So they are gonna leave her zombie husband here. So they've made it down the ladder and Adeline is just helping the lady go over to the sofa and Adeline's like, oh, do you want a drink? Do you want some water? Do you want any food? Are you okay? Like, oh God, okay. Do you want anything? And the woman's like, I, I would love a water, please, dear, please. I'm not gonna say dear. That is terrible. Honestly, terrible. So Adeline has just got the lady a glass of water and she's just drinking it and she's like basically just chugging it down as quick as possible. Their personal boundaries, honestly. But she chugged it down so quickly that like Adeline was like, God, okay, but do you want any more? <laughs> but the woman is okay. She doesn't want any more. And so they're all just standing around this woman right now. They all are very like confused, very concerned, very not sure if this is a good idea considering the fact that she potentially has maybe been bitten from her husband up there. Like it seems like a really bad idea, but also it's an old woman, okay? How, what are you gonna do? Leave her up there? Like, I don't know. Also, I know she doesn't look that old. I, for some reason, Sims, I can't get them to look old. I struggle, okay? This woman's meant to be like, I don't know, like 70 or something. Maybe, maybe older than that. And I just can't get her to look any older. Like, I just can't. I, I tried every, everything, okay? Kristen is just like whispering in Miles' ear right now. And she's just like, what if she's bitten, Miles? Like, what are you doing? What if she's been bitten? And she's gonna attack us all in a second. What the hell are you doing? What were you playing at? Why would you bring her down here? This is so stupid. But Miles is just responding like, I don't know, Kristen, okay? I don't know if she's been bitten or not. But I couldn't see any bite marks on her. And I have a knife at the ready, okay? But what was I meant to do? leave her up there. Like, that's horrible. I could just leave this lady up there. Like, we literally infiltrated her house, okay? Like, what did you think I was gonna do? Just leave her? Kristen looks very angry at him, but at the same time, she's like, okay, what if this was, like, my grandmother? Like, I would have wanted someone to help her down as well. So, fine, whatever. <laughs> Pick up line, lol. <laughs> Adeline is just gonna be like, are you okay? Like, why Why were you up there? Like, we, we're not, we're harmless. You know, we would have helped you. Guys, stop with the personal space today. What is it? Honestly, they've never done this before. Today, they're just like, I'm going to shove my bum in this poor old lady's face. The woman's just gonna respond. She's just gonna be like, well, I, 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 I saw the car pull up and I I, I, I was scared. I, I thought that you guys might like hurt me or, or hurt Charlie, my husband. And I, I didn't know what to do. So I, I, I didn't think you'd understand that I kept him. You know, I didn't think that you'd, you'd know. You'd understand that uh, the reason why I kept him, even though he's a zombie. Like, so so I, I hid up here with him once I saw the car. And, and I, I, I didn't want to come down whilst you were all here. Because I didn't know if you would hurt me. Or why you were here or anything. And I got, I got too scared to come down. And I took up a few bits of food and a few bits of water to drink. But I didn't bring up too much. So I'm so hungry and so thirsty. But I was too too scared to come down and then when I was 
was up there, I was just trying to grab onto the knife when I accidentally knocked one of the boxes over from the attic and I'm assuming you all heard that. I'm, I didn't mean to do that to make a noise. I was trying to be as silent as possible, but I'm glad I did, I guess, because otherwise I don't know how long I would have survived up there any longer. I was up there for days and I was so hungry and so thirsty. And I, I put the blanket over my husband, Charlie, because I couldn't bear to see his face anymore. I couldn't bear to see his eyes and him trying to get over to me and trying to attack me so i've just been getting cutting little bits of my skin off a little little bits at a time to make sure he'd stay alive because i i i didn't want him to to die on me you know he always promised me that i'd go first not him like he promised me that so i wouldn't let that happen to him and i didn't want him to starve and i didn't want to move and and i have a family you know i have this beautiful family i was actually on the radio with my granddaughter the day before you all came here i was on the radio and we were talking about what we're gonna do and she she started saying that she was planning to make the journey across to see me and to see her granddad, but I didn't have the heart to tell her <laughs> that her granddad had turned because I was too scared to tell her that. So I tried, I really tried to tell her not to come, but the batteries on the radio died the minute I was trying to say that to her. So I think that she's making the journey over here. I'm scared that when she gets here, she'll see me looking like this and her granddad as a zombie. I don't want her to have to to see that, you know? So I thought I'd be best just hiding up there and just surviving as long as I could until she got here. But she hasn't arrived and I don't know if she's okay. You know, that was days ago. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Adeline is just looking at her with tears in her eyes right now. Not even tears in her eyes, let's be honest. She's fully crying right now. This story is making her really emotional. Especially, you know, that being her granddaughter and her having a baby in her right now. She's probably comparing it to her own baby and her own feelings. And she's feeling really, really, really emotional right now. She's not really saying anything. The woman's sort of looking at her like, yeah. <laughs> and Erin is just gonna look at her and she's gonna be like, I'm so sorry that we made you feel like you had to stay up there. You know, we would have never come in here. We, we thought it was totally abandoned. Like, it looked really abandoned. You'd, you'd boarded up all the windows and there was all the food there. We just kind of thought that, you know, that we could stay here for a bit. There's no way we would have ever in a million years come in here and made it our little, you know, shelter for the time being if we'd have known. I'm so sorry that we've done that to you. And the woman's just like, it's okay, you know, dear. It's it's okay. I You were just trying to survive. You know, I was just trying to survive with my family and you were trying to survive with your friends. And, you know, it's okay, you know. You, 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 you did what had to be done. She's just be like, I'm sorry if I'm like infiltrating at all, but I'm really, really hungry and really need to wash this stuff off right now. Could I go do that now and go to bed? I, I really need to sleep on something that's not the hardwood floor, if that's okay. And of course, they're all gonna be like, oh my God, yes, go do that. That's fine. We have food. We have a toilet. We have a bath. Like, you know, go do what you need to do. So everyone is kind of just gonna head to bed as well. They're gonna let the woman sleep in the bed here for the night because like, I mean, come on. Like, you know, the, the whole reason why she's had to stay up there with her husband up here tied up and trying to get over to her and having to experience that is because of them in a way. So they want to make sure they could do whatever they can to help her out. And they all are just feeling so awful right now that, that, that she had to stay up there. That they're kind of not really speaking to one another because they all kind of feel like embarrassed in a way and like just guilty that, you know, that happened. So they're all just going to like head to bed. I guess they'll take shifts again, but they are just going to head to sleep. So at like half five in the morning, everyone is pretty much in bed except for Kristen. She's probably taken the watch this time. Maybe she'll just do a little bit of fishing whilst this is all happening. Oh, Oh no, your hygiene's really low. Okay. Kristen's noticing that both the horses isn't doing very great and she's probably like, okay, I don't think Tio knows anything about horses. But of course, Kristen does know a little bit about horses. She kind of knows a little bit about everything, to be honest. She likes stuff to do with animals. She's quite interested in the logistics and stuff like that. Maybe she had a horse as a kid. I don't know. Also, it's now officially winter. Starting next episode is going to be disastrous, honestly. I mean, even more disastrous than it is now, which is really saying something. Thing, so can't wait for that. Just kidding. I just want to say, by the way, the reason why episodes are sometimes are really long and sometimes really short is basically I tend to record for about the same amount of time, like roughly an hour and a half to two hours. But what happens is sometimes I speak a lot in a video and sometimes I don't. And I don't know how much I've spoke until I edit it. If like last video was like 45 minutes, but this one's like 30, that is why. I try to make them longer because I know you guys like longer episodes and I do prefer longer episodes.
episodes because I can get a lot more done. It does like happen to be that it is kind of challenging to like get the timing right. Other videos are easier, but this is like a hard one to kind of get right. So I'm sorry if like some are really long. I don't know how long this is gonna end up being, but hopefully it's not like too long, but I just wanna let you guys know that. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I am gonna leave this part here. So let me know what you think of everything that's happened today. It was less so focused on our main Sims and more to do with this brand new Sim who has been up there for so long. A lot of you guys did notice that the stairs were there in the comments. So I did, obviously they've been there since the start. So if you noticed that, congratulations. Um, but remember to like, subscribe, and do if you want. And I'll see you guys in a video. I love you guys. Goodbye.